Pinnacle Studio 25 Ultimate Review Pinnacle Studio Ultimate is an excellent video editing application, now on its 26th version. It has become faster and more powerful with every iteration. It aims to cater to near professional enthusiasts with useful effects such as motion tracking, multi-cam editing, and the ability to create videos in a start motion mode. The latest version of the product has been upgraded with changes to behavioral logic, resource management, a new proxy codec, and an improved user interface for efficiency. Performance is improved with faster launch time, responsiveness, and import and export speed. While new control panels allow more control over system resource usage. Pinnacle Studio is offered in two levels, Entry Level and Ultimate. The Ultimate Bundle also includes a wide array of content, effects, and access to Pinnacle Studio Backlot online community with training, support, and stock content. Ultimate is the only version that offers features such as color grading, video masking, and high-end effects from New Blue, as well as unlimited video tracks. This is the level you'll have to purchase if you want to edit 360 degree or 4K content. Since our last review update, Pinnacle Studio has a free 15-day trial version available. Other competitors like Adobe Premiere Elements and CyberLink PowerDirector have free trials too. To use Pinnacle Studio, you will need either Windows 10 or 11 installed on your device, along with either an Intel Core i3 or AMD A4 3.0 GHz processor. You must also have at least 4 GB RAM, 8 GB is suggested for better performance. Unfortunately, Pinnacle Studio is only available for Windows and is not compatible with Mac OS. To start, you need to first get the small installer stub app. After that, the massive full program needs to be downloaded and takes up 3.5 GB of space on the hard drive. A fast internet connection and plenty of storage are needed. If 4K videos are being edited, even more storage might be required. The installer is capable of installing multicam capture light, my DVD, and other content packs if you opt for a full installation. These can consume additional GBs of disk space. The software allows for the easy selection of required imports from sources such as DVDs, computer folders, stop motion, snapshots, and multicam. It is capable of handling 4K content and allows for a star rating and keyword tagging upon imports to enable easier searchability later on. The search bar further contributes to finding files by detecting words in the file name. The tool utilizes separate, synced clips that are added to the project bin and can be controlled via specified function keys. Additionally, the user can modify lighting and sound sources as needed, from my evaluation, it would appear it works without issue. Pinnacle's editing interface is pleasing and flexible, sporting flat, 2D icons and a black and grey color scheme. The program uses project bins to store all content used in a movie project, such as clips, photos, and sound files. This concept is commonly found in pro-level apps such as Adobe Premiere Pro, while Aludo's other line Video Studio does not contain this feature. The program window is equipped with four mode switching buttons, Home, Import, Edit, and Export. The Home icon offers tutorials, and info on new features, assets, and programs for sale. Unfortunately, there is no quick access to projects in progress that similar programs usually offer. The editor interface of Edit Mode displays source content in the upper left corner, preview on the right, and timeline in the bottom. A switcher button lets you move the preview to the left if desired. The ultimate level provides unlimited tracks, while Plus and Standard have 24 and 6 respectively. Interface panels can be repositioned, similar to those in some other editors like Magic's Movie Edit Pro. The preview window provides detailed controls such as jog and shuttle, frame advance, and rewind. It offers the option of switching between source and timeline. Resizing the timeline is possible with a mouse drag action, however, it would be preferable to have a mouse wheel option, 